she's not ready for prime time. She's certainly not ready to, to lead a country that is right now maggot up. Now, Governor, Donald Trump. Well, here's is, the headline. Here's the headline. You and I agree on something, Eric. Well, let them run that we, as the headline tomorrow. You and I agree. A lot. We just do, don't agree on the fact we that do. Donald Trump is going to sweep the field in the, in the first three, uh, uh, the caucus in the first two um, primaries. And it's time for you guys to do some gut check. Do you want to continue or not? Do you, Governor? I mean, and if you do leave, what the Christie supporters, where do you think this Christie support should go? Well, I'm counting on the Christie support staying with Christie because I'm in this race and I'm in this race to try to win it, Eric. But I think this idea that somehow any person's supporters are monolithic and they'll go to one particular place, whether it's the theory that Christie supporters would go to Nikki Haley or that DeSantis supporters would go to Donald Trump if Governor DeSantis were to get out. I, I don't think they are monolithic. I think some will go to me. Some will go to Nikki. Some will go to Donald Trump. In fact, we have an internal poll that shows that 15 percent of my supporters here in New Hampshire, if I left the race, um, their second choice is Donald All Trump. Right, let's do this. Let's do this. So go you, figure you came that on one. here a while ago. And you and I are friends. We, you were my governor for a while, too. We come from Jersey. You said it was early. You know, it was maybe two months ago. You said it was early at this point in 20 whatever. So and so was what Ted Cruz is winning, blah, blah, blah. It's not early anymore, Chris. It's 11 days. It's one Scaramucci away from, from the primary, literally, today. So <laughs> do you change your opinion on if it's still early for Chris Christie? Well, it's 19 days to New Hampshire. And as you know, I haven't spent a day or a dollar in Iowa. So I'm certainly not predicting that I'm going to win the caucuses in Iowa. I'm confident saying I will not. Um, we're competing hard here in New Hampshire. We're going to continue to compete hard here in New Hampshire. Um, and I will tell you this, Eric, and, and I know you believe this. If you believe all the polls, Hillary Clinton would be in her second term. So, uh, you know, let's be careful about how much credence we put into polling, right. um, especially in today's one, one environment. More. One more. One more. Why, why wouldn't you vote for Trump if he's the nominee? I know you said you'd vote for DeSantis or Haley, but, what, what, but why not Trump? You know why, Chris? I've been around long enough to realize when a, when a president is screwing up the country and Joe Biden is screwing up the country, there are some that believe that they're not going to run someone else other than Joe Biden on the Democrat side. Instead, they're going to support Nikki Haley so they can have her compete against Biden and Biden beats her. So why wouldn't you just take the guy who has the best chance, if it's not you, to beat Biden? Well, first of all, I agree with you that Joe Biden has messed up this country and is making things worse. Um, secondly, I believe Donald Trump is unfit to be president of the United States. We've said that. I've told you that before. Is he more fit, I Chris? And I asked, I, asked, I asked Mooch this last night. Is Trump more fit than Biden? Let me tell you something. I don't think either one of them are fit to be president of the United States. I don't think either okay. one of them are. But Chris, and if, if the, I think it's, the it's American people choice. deserve, Chris I think the American people Chris deserve Chris a much better choice. One or the other. Here it is. Who would you vote for, Biden or Trump? I don't have to. No, you, you don't. No, no. In this country, you don't have to vote for two bad choices. Correct. You don't. So you would, the fact you would sit is out. That you, Chris Christie would fact, sit out a 2024 presidential election. He would not vote if the choices were Biden and Trump. If those are my only choices, that's my answer. Yeah. We're going to leave right there. You know what I like about you? There's no BS. <laughs> it's really no BS. You just no. Nope, there is. It. It's, it's refreshing. I'll give you Chris. the answer, Eric. It's, it's refreshing, my friend. Thank good you. to have you on, and uh, we'll get you back soon. Uh, and good luck. And if we don't see you before Iowa, good luck.